Well, hello, hello. I watched the, our video back and realized, man, I sure do come across as very flat and boring. So I will try not to be so boring. But guess what we're going to do this weekend? Ta-da! We're on phase. I don't know, it lost count. But this is the floor that's going to go on there. So my son-in-law and daughter are supposed to come out this weekend and they're going to help. But right now it's Friday evening and um, we're going to unload the 2 by 8s up onto the deck tonight because Harper and I have to go home. She has a soccer game. So we will be up tomorrow or on lunchtime, so there probably won't be any videoing from the time I leave until I come back. So we'll guess we'll find out together what gets done. Yeah, we got to uh, move the A. Oh yeah, we, we have to. Move the water. I got to get that out of there. Oh yeah. But uh, we'll pick the A up. Let's put it against a tree. That, yeah, I was gonna tie it up there. Okay. It's fall over. All right. Hey, Harper, look at you. You know the story of Charlotte's web. The, the nice spider. Oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, the nice spider with the pig. Look, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but this web is everywhere. Wow. It's everywhere. Look, it's even down there. Look at the tires. Whoa. Spiders must have found it a good place because it was so sunny and it's almost winter. This is just in one week. What do you think? Pretty impressive. So I just got my first building lesson because if you guys are new to our channel, then you don't know that we've never done this before. Well, my husband has helped build houses and he's a handyman and he knows everything. I am a nurse. I don't know one thing about building, but he's taught me how to use ch skill saws and chainsaws. It's pretty square to me. Okay, so this is what I learned. So this is mostly for girls, for there are, Builder girls, so no disrespect. But this is for other girls that are more like me. So guess what I just learned? Check it out. On a tape measure, you're supposed to build every 16 on a floor. And look, where is this? Look, this is at 16 and it's red. So guess what I learned? All you gotta do is go to all the red numbers. Red. And so we marked every 16. Look, 16, 16 all the way down so now we know where to put the boards so that was my first building lesson thank you mr boss man mr square and uh he's making sure that we're square all right so now we're gonna start laying these out just to see if we have enough boards we should okay we have all the floor joices in place we still have to trim them, but it seems so much bigger now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Then you put the walls up, then it'll seem small again. I know. Then you put the stuff inside, then it'll seem big again. That's, that's just the, the weirdness of a building. building a house. Yeah. And a small one like this, you see it more because it is smaller. So this will be our first house that we've built from floor, from ground up. Because our other two houses were built for us, and we finished well, I, them. I built three, three custom homes with Jan. Okay, this and is going to be ground up. I mean, wire and rebar, and and the footings and foundation, doing it all to city standards spec. The spec houses is what they were. And so, also, I was thinking people might want to know why are we building it like that versus just an A-frame. And the answer is because once that is actually up here on the floor and then it angles an A-frame, we would lose a lot more interior floor space. But because this upper part is spread apart, um, that gives us back quite a bit of floor space. And then we'll peak the top, which is what's why it's called a gambrel. Sheds are usually built that way. Right here too. I thought we weren't going to do the oh, we're stem not walls. Do that. We're, going to make those longer. we're going from the floor. Oh, okay, did we already figure that in that extra length without the little stem walls? I thought we had them part of it. You look at the picture; it shows a little four and a half foot. 
Little stems. And then we talked about they were just going to build the walls on the floor. See, we have a whole winter to decide what we're going to do. Okay. But just the floor you gotta, you doesn't gotta, you change. You go back on your video and look at the way you had that built. Because the, oh, yeah. the other I had pieces that. are right down there. Yes. We okay, had that the sitting. Stem walls, the four and a half foot stem walls. Yes. Okay. When we built that. Just, but then we went home and then we watched more videos about how other people are building these. And we watched a guy who built it in such a way that it would be 10 times easier and we don't hardly lose any floor well, space. We like the looks of it, but yeah. Okay. So this is what happens. <laughs> we'll make our mind up. I mean, we're just here at the where you want to make your mind up. <laughs> we have all winter. Yeah. Because at this point, we'll get this floor together. Then our plan is to paint it with some exterior paint so it can survive the winter out here. Because winter's going to be here soon. And then we're going to let that dry. We don't want to be shoveling all kinds of snow and stuff. We're not building in the winter. Nah, we're, we're not made for that anymore. No. <laughs> Maybe, what, 20, 40 years ago? Maybe 40 for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm the old guy. So, yeah, that's it. So, we'll just uh, come back after winter. I still got to come up every snow and plow. Otherwise, you can't get in here until April. True. So, All put... right, so this is Friday night. Our son in law is coming up tomorrow. They will start squaring off the floor, putting up the the joist rims and rim joist rim joist and beam joist and square it up and then put the osb on so we'll see what we get done this weekend hopefully we get the whole floor and then we next will. weekend we'll paint it and seal it for winter harper okay <laughs> i doubt see you youtubers make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell hit that bye door.